Hello Game Gum Shoes fans, Chris here from Origins. I'd like to show you a video that I filmed with a guy named Joey from Mirrorbox Games. It is about their game Chaosmos. You know, like Chaos and Cosmos and they slam them together. It looks like a really interesting game. I do have a review copy that they gave me. So once I get home and try it out with the people back there, then uh, you'll get to see a video review on what I think of the game when it's played without being instructed. But in the meantime, here's Joey with instructions and information on Chaosmos. Hey, go ahead and introduce yourself and your game. Hi, I'm Joey Bigger with Mirrorbox Games, and this is Chaosmos. So Chaosmos is a hidden information strategy board game. You are an emissary sent by your alien race on a desperate quest to retrieve the Ovoid. The Ovoid is the seed of the new universe. Whoever possesses the Ovoid when the chaos clock runs out and the universe collapses becomes the master of the new universe. So, you're going to start on your home planet with a bunch of random cards. You can only carry so much, so you're going to have to make hard choices about what to keep and what to leave behind. Every time you land on a new planet, you're going to get new stuff. Each planet is represented by this envelope, and there's going to be a bunch of random cards inside. So you'll say, okay, I've got to add this to my hand. You manage your hand between your hand and the new envelope. And then when you leave the planet, again, you discard right back to that same envelope. So you're leaving area-specific caches behind. You're basically building caches all around the board, and so are the other aliens, because they're all looking for the ovoid as well. So when you land on a planet, if someone else is there and controls that planet, you can fight them. Combat is the only way that you'll be able to get the Ovoid out of their hand, because you can look at their hand and take a card. So, you're basically moving around, battling each other, teleporting things around the galaxy. There's actually traps and vaults you can use to protect the Ovoid on a planet. So, you could set a, a trap there, so when you leave and someone else comes back, oh, I got trapped. So. That'll protect planets, at least for a little while. And then there's vaults, and there's keys, and you can use a key to open a vault, um, or you could hide a key underneath a trap and then send it to the toxic planets, because there's also toxicities that matter, so you have to get the right environment gear. And ultimately, it comes down to the final few turns. Everyone's scrambling for their endgame strategy. Everyone's looking for the Ovoid, or knows where the Ovoid is, or getting weapons to find and capture the Ovoid. And there's even a Temporal Displacer card that lets you fast forward the game up to eight turns. So if you get the Ovoid and the Temporal Displacer, in the last eight turns, you can fast forward, play the Ovoid, and become the master of the new universe. Okay. That sounded uh, pretty good. Uh, your big cards. Uh, yeah, so what's their importance? And so how do you read them? These are the individual alien species, and there's ten different aliens with very unique powers here. So, for example, Drusu knows all. Drusu gets to figure out where the Ovoid is quickly. He can look in people's hands, he can look on planets remotely, he's got a scrying power. Ham Flagon has an increased hand size. So it's good for carrying a bunch of tactical gear and vaults and keys and things. Neeksy can recover lost items. Vlocklos is amazing. He can destroy cards that are normally permanent. And he only wins if nobody has the Ovoid, and the Ovoid is on a planet. So he's basically the Nihilist alien. So with your alien abilities and your planet effects, and your various card abilities and effects, they all kind of synergize together and uh, create a very uh, unique and in interesting social dynamic, I would say. Cool. Well, thanks a lot, Joey. Well, thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it informative. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to email me. I'll uh, be glad to answer any questions. And until next time, thank you for joining us.